I've got some insanely interesting plugins to show you in this video. The first one is a VST that's dedicated to sort of warm, lush electronic sounds. So pads and keys and stuff like that, that works really well in lo-fi. I've also got an effect, which is a bit like Portal. It's a sort of granular synthesis effect and it's absolutely slept on. Plus it's on sale at the moment. And finally, there's been a bundle of VSTs that I've been wanting to buy for a few years and I'm finally taking the plunge and I'm going to check them out in this video. So firstly, I'll just demo each of the individual VSTs, talk a little bit about them briefly to give you a good overview, and then I'll show you them in context of a track. So I'm going to make a sort of electronica influenced lo-fi beat. I'm a big fan of artists like Bonobo, Floating Points, Maribu State, who make this sort of blend of organic sounds mixed with electronic influences, and it just sounds insane, and I really think it would work well in lo-fi so that's the plan for this video plus as always i've got a giveaway so i'll be giving away the first vst that i'm going to talk about completely free all you've got to do to enter as always is drop a comment drop a like and be a subscriber of the channel i've given away some really exciting vsts already but there's some videos that are so close to hitting the milestone so be sure to check out some of the older videos if you haven't already and enter the competition that way but for now i'm just going to talk about the first vst so the first plugin i want to talk about and the one that i'm giving away in this video is a plugin called odine so odine is from telesone audio and if you've not heard of telesone audio they make several other sort of lo-fi-esque vsts they've got the very lo-fi postcard and golden grand pianos and they've also got a plugin called scarborough which this is the sort of sequel to similar to scarborough but with a sort of softer more mellow approach which is sounding fantastic so this is the sort of page where you can get it uh, it's got various demos of the sounds that you can check out here uh, as well as some information about what's involved and so on and so forth so i'll drop the links to this if you want to check it out uh, but this is the plugin in action so it runs off the contact player you can use the free one so you don't have to buy that as well um, and it's quite a simple one to use but it's got some fantastic sounds in there so the first patch just to show you how it works is called a drift it's just a soft synth So with all of these, you've got stuff like attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. So you can make it a little bit more stubby. Or you can change the attack to give it a more pad sound, which this one is much better suited to. You can also change stuff like hold, decay, and sustain, which are all variations of keeping the chord playing longer. Um, and then you've got release, which again, it, once you've released the chords, uh, it's how long it'll sort of play on for in the background. So you can control them on all of them, and you've also got some more interesting features. So the expression, uh, which oh, it is mapped to the expression pedal, is effectively like a volume control. So it maps straight to your expression pedal, just if you want to give it a sort of choppy feel or duck it out for certain things, which is great. And then you've got the interesting stuff. So you've got modulation here, which again, mod wheel. So this adds various effects, dependent on the patch. So we'll keep that in the middle somewhere. Gives it a bit of a space and uh, reverb. And then you've got movement, which can be, again, different for different patches, but generally it gives a sort of stereo width to the track in different ways. So it's giving it more of a lo-fi feel and it's giving it a sort of a panning effect. So that's cool. And then you've also got mood, which again, different for each, but it gives different character to the sound. Again, make it a little bit more ambient. Giving it a more interesting character and effectively as you go through the patches they can do different things but there's some really interesting stuff in here so a couple more patches just to show you uh examples uh let's go for host malone so this Sounds sick. I thought this would work really well for like a drone note. You increase the attack a bit. We 
really cool to build a track around, so I might try that for the demo for this. So yeah, there's various things that are sort of, some of them are more arpeggiate focused, some of them are more bass focused, some of them are just lush sort of pads. So many cool things to try. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Courageous Grief. Some dramatic names. So that would be a lovely E piano. And again, if you want to make it a little bit more simple, drop all these effects. Maybe drop the attack a little bit. A little bit more release. So you can hear just the intrinsic sort of lo-fi, moody, organic feel, which is amazing. So yeah, you get the idea, general overview there. I'm going to try and dig through and find some favorites to show off in the demonstration a little bit later. But this is Odyne. Uh, so far, it's my favorite Teletone plugin that's been released. I've bought a few in the past and just been a bit underwhelmed by them. But this one is definitely going to be a contender for one of my favorite sort of go-to synth the analog plugins so yeah definitely check that one out next up is a plugin that i saw mentioned in the comment section a little while ago uh, so shout out to that person if i can find it i'll display it now it is a sort of granular synth like portal but it's a bit different and i love the granular synth stuff uh, so when i saw it was on sale at the moment i just had to cop it it was like i think 49 dollars reduced from maybe 100 um so this is a plugin by artoria if you've never heard of it and yeah this is sort of what it sounds like so i'm using um a mattress piano just to demo it. So it sort of takes what you play, it applies different effects like panning effects. So you can see with a really cool visual where it's getting panned to here. You can turn this off, of course, if you want it to stay central. Uh, you can add different effects which you can change here. Really easy to use in that regard. Now this bit you can see is taking the recording and it's splitting it up into tiny granules, playing them in different ways. So uh, you've got adjustment here for the sort of spray if you want to make it more intense. Intensity knob as well. It seems to change the pitch. You've got an effects knob here. which is adjusting these effects. You've also got grain volume, grain mix, and the feedback. So if you want to make it a bit more chaotic, you can up the feedback right there. As I said, this is just Madras piano. So all these sounds are coming from the piano and from this. So there's some really cool uh, effects to play with. The one I had there is Lush Planets. This is what it sounds like out of the box. Uh, but you've also got some pitch shifting stuff. So these work really well as like sends, so you can filter out any of the frequencies you don't want and add more effects to them just to make a really interesting layer. So if you've got a simple piano melody, you can just add texture to it. So this is the lo-fi stutter. definitely see some uses for this and this sort of thing works amazing on vocals as well stuff like this as well having that sort of varied pitch and uh, panning it's really cool I must say as well I've not actually tried any of these before this video so I'm no expert on these plugins but first impressions fantastic so yeah this is uh fragments i'm going to use that in the video as well um probably on some sort of top end melodies to add a little bit more of an interesting texture to them uh and yeah i'm just gonna mess about with it some really so yeah that was uh fragments interesting plugin definitely going to be using it it's just one of those things i like to throw on when i've got a track and i just want something to spice it up a bit works really well for that so finally the last plugins that i wanted to talk about were a range of three plugins that I've had on my sort of wish list for like two, three years. And that is Landform, Cycles and Aura by Slate and Ash. So these plugins are very much geared towards sound design, more orchestral sound design at that, but they've also got some, you know, electronic 
electronica style elements to them as well some really lush pads interesting sounds and textures i used i think one in last week's video briefly i've still not really dived into them as much as i could uh, but i do plan on doing that they probably all deserve their own video at some point but to give you a brief overview landforms is sort of the more uh orchestral sort of strings focused library uh two of these have actually got ways that you can manipulate your own sounds i think auras hasn't but i'm not 100 percent sure yet so landforms for example is is quite orchestral focused uh, it's got a lot of string sounds and it effectively layers different things so you can control different layers you can change the sounds you've got effects sort of like lo-fi compression delay etc um you can add your own samples to this one and you can change things like the ARP, you can put that on, add some randomness and just manipulate the modules to get some really interesting sounds. But it should be noted, I've got no idea how to use this yet, I've not really read the manual, uh, I've played about with a few sounds and presets. Uh, but yeah, it sounded really cool. Uh, but the ones that I love the most at the moment are Cycles and Auras. I think Landform's got a lot of potential, but I really need to look into how to fully utilize it. So Cycles, uh, it's got some great presets. So it's sort of more of a uh, sort of like drum machine, sort of arpeggiator style engine. So it's got loads of great loops in here. You can effectively change the sort of grid size and get rid of certain segments. So it just plays different snippets of it. So it's an easy way to sort of slice up sounds and loops because you can use this with your own sounds. So that's the sort of drum machine bits, but you've also got, you know, like cinematic intense sort of trailer music stuff uh, and then you've got like pad sounds and there's literally so much i mean they, they are expensive but there's so much in there to be fair um so this is sort of i guess geared towards cinematic intense trailer music but there are some nice soft stuff blended in And as I said, with this, you can actually use your own sounds. So I could go in and find one of my loops. From my sample pack, drop that in. You can actually have multiple in there, so different notes trigger different samples. Uh, so that's loop mode. You've also got sequence mode, where you can trigger some generative uh, sequencing stuff. So if I turn that off for now, in loop mode again you can change the grid size and chop out bits. So the benefit of this is really if you've got some interesting samples or you've got a rough idea, you can just throw your samples in these engines and come up with all sorts of crazy sounds and ideas. And then finally you've got auras which again is probably the best one I'd recommend most so far for lo-fi because it's just got some really nice interesting sounds organically in there i am rattling through these there's so much to cover in these presets uh but yeah so it's got some nice noisy textures uh it's got pads and in the last video i used pitch control on these to give it a sort of interesting um vocal effect i think i used this patch uh wilhelm dream pad So yeah, that was just a sort of whistle-stop tour of those three. Uh, there is so much to dig into in them. I don't know if anyone's interested in seeing that. Do let me know in the comments down below if you are. So yeah, I'm just going to use these to create a sort of electronica-inspired uh, lo-fi hip-hop beat. So let me know what you think of it. Here it is. This is the track.
just go and talk about what I've actually used. So it starts off with a sort of drone note that I mentioned, I think, earlier. So this is a patch from Codine. Codine. I hope I'm saying it right. Codine, I'll go for. Uh, so this is Host Malone. It's just that little boppy thing. And Cody number two is this thing, which I really like. This is definitely going to make it into my sort of pads. This is the Courageous Grief. So again, I do automate the modulation towards the sort of drop, I guess, just to give it a sort of, gives it a choppier feel. Next up, we've got a texture from the uh, Aura. So it's Wilhelm Dream Pad, which I used, I think, last week. It's just such a nice sort of ethereal pad. Sounds great. I then got another sort of drone note texture thing. So this is effectively the same as this with another octave added. It's a uh, violin, two different violin articulations with the ARP on, and that's using the landforms. Uh, and we've also got this sort of arcade vocal. So it's just a sort of box standard, dreamy arcade vocal. But I've put the fragments on there just to give it this choppy feel. And the thing I love about fragments is this panning mode. I love the sort of visuals of it. And just the fact you can change between different sort of uh, modes. Uh, that's that. And then I've also got this sort of cinematic swell. There's a lot of stuff like this in the uh, Slate and Ash stuff. So this is 24 hours. It's a Slate and Ash preset. Really cool sound. And that transitions a little bit. Uh, I've got that coming in later as well. And then we're just onto stuff that happens at the drop. So the next up, we've got a Wilhelm Dream Pad again, but with a bit of uh, pitch shifting. I've got a piano, which is from the uh, Ulfa Arnold's Composer Toolkit, which I love if you've watched the channel. But um, played that, and I've also got some fragments on there, which is giving it that dreamy sort of texture. That's the Ocean Suite preset. That's without. With. I also bring in another arcade vocal, which is just uh, this. I've not actually added any effects to that. And another texture. So that summarizes this groove. I love the basses in Godine, they've got some really interesting stuff. This in particular, even though it sounds quite intense, when you drop this on a nice soft lo-fi track, it just gives it a warmth. Because it's not too sort of uh it's not too robotic like a lot of the subs are. A lot of people just use like a bog standard sub sine wave basic sub and it just doesn't sound that interesting. But if you've got a bit of movement, a bit of swells, it sounds great. So I did have to mono this uh, for the bass. Uh, but other than that, that's it with a bit of radio saturation. This is the Undyne preset on Cody. Yeah, is, so yeah, that is pretty much the track. Really loving these plugins so far. Definitely going to keep diving into them. Uh, specifically Slate and Ash, barely scratched the surface. I need to dig into that more. But be sure to enter the competition if you want to do that for the free Codeine plugin. So you hit just 200 likes, I'll be giving that away. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.